All right, guys, today we're going to talk about tremors and vitamin deficiencies. So there's mainly two types of tremors, um, resting and essential. Resting could come from Parkinson's, which is a problem in the brain, and essential, which means unknown, they don't know, uh, is more in the other parts of the neurology, uh, but they don't know, so it could be coming from the brain as well. Essential is eight times more common. It mainly happens upon initiation when you're trying to do something, let's say you're writing, or, and it could be of the head shaking, the torso shaking, your leg shaking, whereas resting tremor is not as much on activation, but just in a resting state. You have this uh, rhythmic movement of your hands or one hand. And in essential tremor, uh, you have this progressive nerve damage. Now, for Parkinson's, and I've done several videos on this, um, realize that insulin resistance plays a huge part in this problem, okay? And this is why you want to get on a healthy keto plan. You want to do intermittent fasting for sure. Why? Because this will produce autophagy, which is the repair action of your cells through recycling damaged proteins, especially in the brain. You could grow new brain cells, especially part of the brain where there's damage that's causing uh, problems with dopamine. And I did a separate video just on dopamine. When you lower insulin, you can improve dopamine because you're improving parts of the brain that make dopamine. Now, also, if you add vitamin D in there, you can also improve insulin resistance and also Parkinson's symptoms. Karen and I had a friend who had Parkinson's. And I mean, this guy, he wasn't that old. And you can see he's just shuffling along. He looks really old and he's hunched back and he has these tremors um, and dementia. We recommend keto, intermittent fasting, and several other things, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, and he's doing fantastic now. He's really coming out of it. So I've seen firsthand that these actions can greatly improve uh, the symptoms from Parkinson's. And of course, anything that I'm recommending in these videos is just meant for education. It's not meant to replace your medical care. So check with your doctor before making these changes. Okay, then we have essential tremors. Um, I would highly recommend doing research on the B vitamins. If you look at uh, B12 deficiencies, you're going to see one of the symptoms is tremors, okay? So B12 has a lot to do with um, the nervous system and keeping the nervous system functioning. You do uh, tend to uh, store B12 for long periods of time, but if you're deficient, whether you're a vegan or you have digestive issues and you have maybe IBS or Crohn's or celiac or gastric bypass, that could be more of the reason why you have a B12 deficiency, in which case you need to take thousands of micrograms of B12, not hundreds. So I would do like 2000 micrograms of B12 every single day. Uh, some people, if they're very deficient um, and they have a very serious uh, illness, need to be injected by B12. Make sure that the version of B12 that you take is the methylcobalamin, which is the active form, and it goes in a lot better than the other versions. All right, number two, B1. Very, very important. If you look at um, classical B1 deficiencies called beriberi, it affects the brain and nervous system, um, especially the myelin sheath. The version of B1 that I would recommend would be something called benfotamine, which is a fat-soluble version. Even though it's synthetic, it seems to work really nice, and it doesn't seem to have any side effects, but it will penetrate the nervous system a lot better than the regular versions of B1, which are water soluble. Also, B3 deficiencies can also affect the neurology and create tremors if you're deficient. In this case, I would probably take 500 uh, milligrams of that. And then B6. B6 is a very important cofactor in so many metabolic processes in the body. Um, I would recommend B6 as well in a blend of a uh, nutritional yeast. Okay, number three. Low vitamin E can affect the nerves and the muscle as well, but specifically the nervous system. So if you're going to take a vitamin E, make sure it's um, not synthetic. Make sure it's a food base, a combination between tocopherol and tocotrienols. Okay, That's the version you need um, because if you're vitamin E deficiency, that could be one reason why you have a tremor. Now, caprylic acid from coconut oil is now being researched for tremors. So that's another thing that you might want to consider as well. All right, guys, 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.